Hi, it's Stan from Motion VFX, and today I'm going to show you how to use our M Freeze Frame Comic plugin for FCPX. You can find M Freeze Frame Comic in FCPX's title sidebar. Pick a preset you like and drag it onto your timeline. Freeze Frame Effects. Using the playhead, find a frame you want to freeze and hit the Set Current Frame button. The frame will now be still for the whole duration of the preset. You can also choose a frame with the playhead and start drawing the mask. The time will then be frozen automatically on the frame you've started drawing the mask. Creating and using a mask. Draw a mask around the object you want to highlight in the foreground. To close the mask, click on the first point. The mask is fully customizable at all times. Use the Add Point tool to move the points around add points to the mask, or adjust the Bezier tangents. You can also use the Alt and Command keyboard shortcuts for adjustments. Use the Delete Point tool to remove unwanted points from the shape. Use the Transform tool to select multiple points of the mask and transform their position, scale, and rotation. Once you're happy with the shape of your mask, you can save it for later use. Use the Mask Path Options tool and click the Save button. Type a name for your mask preset and choose a location. Using the same tool, you can clear the mask completely or load a preset you saved before. Let's choose another preset and load the mask we saved a moment ago. The save mask can be used in any other preset, so you can create a mask and use it later in different stylizations. Using on-screen controls. Every preset has a unique set of on-screen controls you can use to quickly stylize your scene. Move, scale, and rotate the highlighted object or additional elements that are present in your scene. Find a composition that looks best for your purpose directly in the viewport. Customization. For advanced customization, go to the inspector to find a list of published parameters. Every preset has a unique set of parameters you can change to find a look and animation that you like. At the top, every preset has an option to turn off the in and out animation, as well as wriggle animation options. Below, you can find advanced mask options, such as turning off the freeze frame effect, mask blur range, mask outline range, or a checkbox that inverts the mask. Here, you can also adjust the animation rates for scale and rotation to make your object more or less dynamic. Farther, you'll find the options responsible for the overall look of the masked object. In the following sections, you'll find parameters responsible for customization of the additional elements of the presets and the background. You can turn off the freeze frame effect of the background or choose a different frame by using the freeze frame offset slider. Below, you can adjust the standard parameters of the background, like position or scale, and change its stylization. In the lowest section, you can find all the parameters used for 2D effects of the preset, like film dirt, scratches, or noise. Play with the different settings to get an interesting look that fits your current composition. Typography. M Freeze Frame Comic has a whole pack of additions like 12 fully stylized comic typography presets. Let's pick one and drag it over our current preset. Adjust its duration to your needs. Use on-screen controls to place the text on the scene and transform the preset's additional elements. Most presets have rigs that can be used to change the types of shapes or the look of the scratches. Type in your custom text and move to customization. Every preset has a unique set of parameters you can change to find a look that will fit your current project. Play with them to get a satisfactory stylization. Overlay Effects You can complete any composition by adding some of the 12 diverse overlay effects included with the plugin. Let's add splatters and use the rig to find a different, more suitable shape. Use the on-screen controls for transformations and publish parameters for customization. Let's go ahead and add some more overlay effects to our composition. Some scratches will make our comp more uniform. Customize the look via the inspector. Lines effect put on top will complete our frame. 
use the OSC and publish parameters to make it fit our look. Some splatters will be the final touch to finish our comic look. Remember, you can always change the order of the effects to get a completely different result. Creating an alpha channel. In some cases, you will want to create a mass object with a completely different background footage. For that, you'll need to create an alpha channel composition. To do that, go to the inspector and move to the background section. Change background scale to 0% to remove the background and set the background footage opacity slider to 0% to make the underlying video transparent. Now turn off all the 2D effects that have a blending mode by setting their opacity to 0%. Select the preset along with the background footage and create a compound clip. Right click, new compound clip. Now you have your masked object with all its effects and an alpha channel that shows the footage below. You can add some effects to stylize the background footage and create a consistent look. That's all. Again, my name is Stanislaw from Motion VFX, and that's all there is to it. Thanks a lot for watching, and for more awesome Apple Motion and Final Cut Pro 10 plugins, please visit us at motionvfx.com.